Hi everyone, it's Akila. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And today we are celebrating Thanksgiving. So I picked up Layla from college, but I needed to stop and stretch my legs because I've been driving forever. After this little break, we're gonna be heading to the house. All right, so I am really excited that Layla is finally gonna be spending some more time with us. Can you guys believe how big she's gotten? She's just about my height now that's crazy you're gonna be so mind blown when you see how big your brother has gotten i missed you so much i've been feeling really homesick ever since i left for college so i'm happy to be spending time with the whole fam and we're so glad to have you back sweetie i know you've been feeling a little bad because adrian isn't spending this thanksgiving with us yeah, and I'm sure you'll see him in a couple of days. I just need to rearrange some of these things in the trunk because they're all just rolling around. Yeah, I'm glad he's spending time with his dad. That's the spirit, but Adrian is still family. Hopefully, he'll get to spend time with us next year. But uh, speaking of family, have I told you who's coming to visit us this year? I didn't really have any time to express my feelings. I don't want to upset your dad. Grandma Angie will be spending Thanksgiving with us this year. You're kidding. I wish I was. I know it's been a while since you've seen your grandma. And despite the relationship that her and I have, I don't want you to be rude to her. I want you to welcome her into our house with open arms. But just know, just know, if she has something slick to say, I'm throwing hands this year. I will. I will be throwing hands. Oh, me too. I know you're always there to back me up, and I appreciate that. Oh my gosh, did you really have to pack this much? You're only staying a couple days. You can never pack too much. All right, I think I've stretched my legs long enough. Let's get you back to the house. I know everyone is going to be so excited to see you. That sweater is real cute, by the way. Thank you. I found it at a little thrift store. You did a good job helping, dear. Thank you, Grandma. We have so much food this year. Yummy. Your mom needs to hurry up. I'm not finishing by myself. I'm so excited for my mom to come. I hope her and Akila get along. Okay, so I'll leave the car parked out here because your dad's gonna have to go and get your grandma from the airport any moment now. About time he moved these leaves out the way and I'll have him get all your stuff out the trunk. I'm so excited to be home and everyone's gonna be so excited to see you. Okay, let's close this because the wind is blowing and we don't need leaves getting into the garage. There you go, after you. Hey everyone, I brought someone special with me. Layla! OMG, you're here! Guess who's back? Back again! Layla! Layla! It's been so long! You're super big! Who is that? Oh, let me get out the way. That's your brother! I told you he got big! He's about the height you were when you left! Look at me! Holy, look at you! And he sounds like dad! He's starting to look like him too. Layla! You're all getting so big. Speak of the devil. Aw, what a nice little family reunion. I wish it could just stay like this, but no. Angie has to come out for Thanksgiving. Oh, hey, Dad. All right, well, let's see what you guys have in the kitchen. All right, so mashed potatoes. These look real good. We have some biscuits and asparagus. Mmm, I helped Grandma. Of course, we need to finish up that turkey. You need to help with the rest now. I'm on it, Mom. Let me grab the turkey out of the fridge and put that in the oven because it's gonna take a while to finish. 
can help too. You did not just stick your grown fingers into the mashed potatoes. Uh, what is... Oh my lord. There is something seriously wrong with that man. Disgusting. Dad, you need to have some self-control. That is no excuse. At your big age, you should not be doing that. Hey mom, are we having dessert? Yes, Grandma Annie is making her famous pumpkin pie. And I'm so excited for it. We're also having apple pie too. Maybe something else. I'm not exactly sure. Oh, can I help please? Of course. We need all the help we can get. Sounds like the phone is ringing. I'll get it. Hello? I'll be right over to the airport. Yay, Grandma is here. Mm, sounds like Grandma Angie's in town. Yay. Too bad her flight didn't get canceled. Akela, gotta go to the airport to get my mom. All right, sounds good. Love you. Be safe. Mwah. She gave me cool presents last time. Yeah, Grandma Angie always gives you guys these expensive gifts. I hope she brings me a new tablet or a phone. I'm expecting a little some some this year. She's always doing too much. You're well off just the way y'all are without her gifts. I guess so. Yeah, it's not all about expensive gifts. Remember, I said this last time she was here. Things that come from the heart mean just as much. You're just mad you didn't get nothing. Oh, wow. We are not raising spoiled kids. Thanksgiving is really important to me. It's the time where we can all just be together. And if she ruins it, I'm going to be really upset. But I'm just going to stay calm because she's not even here yet. Maybe she's turned a new leaf. Let's finish getting this food together. All right, so where was I? Working on this turkey. All right, so we have the turkey. Mom, I'm honestly just so stressed. I don't want Angie here. She's so difficult. Let me pay attention to what I'm chopping because I'll mess around and chop my finger off. Well, you should have said something to August. I tried, but like I said, Thanksgiving is about family. And I didn't want him to feel like he had to exclude his mom. I guess it's worth giving her another shot, but I don't know. <laughs> Well, if it isn't my baby boy. Mom, I'm so happy to spend Thanksgiving with y'all. So am I. Let's get you to the house. All right, child. It's been a long traveling day. Now I'm going to get started on the baked mac and cheese while the turkey is in the oven. Alright, so that looks good. I just have to garnish it. We still have quite a few dishes to make. Okay, so this is gonna go in the oven as well. All of this is gonna taste so good. Okay, so I diced up the apples. Let me see if they're diced up good enough. Mom, they are. Look, I promise. I'm not gonna mess up the family recipe. Pretty good. Pretty good. What? You need to add something? Can you go grab the um the mac and cheese? Let me add the finishing touches to that. How does the mac and cheese look? Did I do a good job? You know you can't mess up on the mac and cheese. Looks delicious. Great. And then we have some more gravy on the stove. This day is going so well. Never mind. Uh, hi. One second. Gotta get my apple pie. Angie's here. You. Oh, nice to see you too, Angie. Oh, hi. August. Grandma Angie! Layla, Leo, come say hi to your grandmother. She's here. Yes, Mom? You didn't tell me you were still with Angela. Angela? It's Akela. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure who Angela is, but um, that's not me. I'm sure you probably knew that. You just wanted to be petty, but yeah, yeah. How about you say hi to your grandchildren? You don't have to be nice to me, but you definitely have to be nice to them. Watch your mouth now. Keep a smile on your face, Akela. It's only one night. What kind of mess? 
My grandbabies. Oh, how I miss y'all. Grandma Angie, do you have any gifts? Now that's no way to greet someone. Give your grandmother a hug. Oh, Akila, hush. Oh, so you do know my name. <laughs> I bought a hundred dollars for each of them. She feels cold. Yeah, cold hearted. Okay, now do you have gifts? Yay! One hundred dollars! And how long is she staying here? I think just until tomorrow morning. But, um, there's no telling with her. My grandbabies, y'all got so big. I can get so much stuff with a hundred dollars. My treat. Is this my little Layla? Sure is. Yeah, she's gotten a lot bigger. My goodness. I mean, everyone's gotten bigger. You wouldn't know that because you barely come around. That's kind of crazy. Well, you know what they say. Mmm, all the food looks so good. Yes, mommy and grandma were in here working real hard. While grandma Angie was just on her first class flight, the bigger they get, the more money you give them. Akela! I mean, I'm just being honest. Do you know who I am, young lady? I don't like this one little bit. Yeah, you're the absent grandma. I am the owner of a chain in the most successful hotels in my city. Oh, okay. You couldn't afford Bloxburg, so you had to go to... What is it? Brookhaven? Who is this? The maid? This is Annie, my mother. Mom! Maid? Okay, okay. Can we please eat? I'm hungry. Hey, no way. The maid? What's a maid? She's even uglier than her daughter. <laughs> oh, I heard that, but I'll let it slide. Okay, kids. So how about you guys give the grown-ups some space? Come on, Mom. Let's make your pumpkin pie. It's going to be good. I appreciate your offer. However... I only eat my own pies. We didn't really plan on you making anything. We thought you were gonna get in a bit later. Then more for us. Not some ghetto hood pies. Get out of my kitchen right now. Please go somewhere else. Go, move. What are you still standing around for? Your legs are broken or something? Dad, control your mom. You clearly need some weight on you. Looking like a skeleton. Let me show you where you'll be sleeping. Good idea. Oh my gosh. Okay, Augie Bear. What the heck? How is she going to come to our house and basically ruin Thanksgiving? She can sleep with chocolate at this point. I'm with you on that one. I'm trying not to go off, Akila. I know, I know. She's ridiculous. Are y'all good? Yeah, I'm sorry you had to see all that. But you're old enough to understand now that something is wrong with that lady. And she just does not like me for whatever reason. Hated me since we were teenagers. I was trying not to eavesdrop, but yeah, dinner is going to be interesting. Here, mom, I see you're a little worked up. I'm worked up too, but... I'll help you get started on the pie. I'll just cut everything up so it's a bit easier for you. We need a family meeting when she's gone. More like family therapy. Thank you, dear. Well, kids, what dish are you most excited for? You guys see we have way more stuff than last year, right? Mashed potatoes, got the asparagus. Some gravy on the stove that's just been warming up. Okay, I'm gonna put this in the oven now. Mac and cheese, duh. Everything looks good to me. We didn't tell you the story about what happened with Leo. We kind of taught your brother how to drive. And then he crashed my car. I just got it back from Mike's Motors, actually. He what now? Yeah, crashed it into a stop sign. My bad. How did he manage to do that? I told y'all he wasn't ready for all that. I know, but August put it in his head, and then I decided to just go along with it. He wasn't actually that bad, though. It's because Grand Theft Auto, huh, Leo? Maybe. Looks like the sun is finally going down. This is real life. You can't be playing around like that. I know, I know. You could have gotten real hurt. We tried to tell him, but I'm glad y'all are okay. Me too, because I was, I was wishing on a star. But don't act like you weren't swerving around on your sweet 16. Now that was crazy. This is not about me. Mom, the pie looks so good. Your little sweater is so fitting. I love pumpkin pie. I'll be the judge of that. Uh, okay. Like mother, like son, I guess. You better get on out of here. Uh-uh. Yuck. You did not... Oh, You did not just spit out Grandma Annie's pie. Did you even wash your hands? What's going on? Your mother just stuck her dirty fingers in Grandma Annie's 
pumpkin pie and spit it out and said it was disgusting. You must be looking in the mirror. Your attitude is disgusting. That's enough. Mom, you better back up. You didn't have to do all that. Oh, <gasps> no, you didn't. You're gonna catch these hands. You see these curves? That's something you'll never have. Okay, let's not get physical now. That's not a good idea. And see this long, luscious hair? Girl, that's a wig. World star! You ain't fooling nobody. Wig or not, it's getting snatched off if you don't leave me alone. Don't let these looks fool you. You will not come in my house and disrespect my family, especially my daughter. Who the heck do you think you're talking to? Listen here, grandma. I'll knock you upside your wrinkly, dry ass your face. I do not like the sound of this. You're just gonna let her talk to you like that, Grandma? No, you listen to this. Oh, my ribs! That's what I thought. That's it. Okay, you two, break it up, break it up, break it up, break it up! Stop, stop! All right, all right, that's enough. She don't know who she's messing with. You're too frail to be tussling with people. You got the right one and the wrong one, baby, so pick your poison. Y'all are too grown to be doing all this. This is not what Thanksgiving is all about. I have to agree with August on this one. I know we've all said some things tonight to each other that we probably shouldn't have, but Angie, once again, you are out of line. I'm not one to let someone disrespect me or my family. This is the second time you have come into our home and you have been so disrespectful and we do not appreciate that because you can really book a flight back to Brookhaven. Get your act together or leave. How about we just get through the rest of this night and the morning and you can go back home tomorrow because you are not welcome here anymore. I wish you could be a part of the kids' lives, but you do too much and I'm sick of it. Ugh, whatever. Yeah, whatever. I'm sorry y'all had to see that side of me. No, it's okay and we understand. Some people just bring that side out. Don't be sorry. You stood your ground as you should. Nobody should be fighting. Whatever. I'm hungry. Well, do you want to call Uber Eats to get something? Because I really don't want to give you any of this food. Akela! Okay, she deserved that one. I'll be nice. I'll, I'll play nice for the girls because they don't know what's going on and they don't need to know what happened here. Okay, everyone. So everyone has finally calmed down. That was a little crazy. I'm glad Leah and Livy didn't have to see that. Now I have my best little helper, Leah, helping me with the turkey, the most important part of a Thanksgiving dinner. Whoa, the turkey is starting to bake. Mm, it's gonna be so good. And you'll get to say that you helped. Mm, the turkey smells amazing. Yes, it does. Okay, let's head over here where we have more space because that counter is filled up. Whoa, so many spices. Yeah, there's a lot of seasoning. Hey, the food's still not done. We're doing it, Grandma. Yes, the turkey is actually done now. So let's get this Thanksgiving dinner over with. It better be seasoned to perfection. Yeah, mm-hmm. Okay, let's place the turkey down. I can get drinks. I'll help Akila. Thanks, August. Thanks for giving her another chance. I'd do anything for you, but I don't know if we should invite her over again. It's always just so much. She's just added stress. But she's my mother. But do you see how she treats me? Why do you think I should keep allowing her to come into my house, our house, and treat me like that? So either you need to have a talk with her or I don't know. Okay. All right. Let's just try to make the most of the rest of the night. All right. I'll put the apple pie over here and I'll put the pumpkin pie on this side. Mom, get that look off your face. You have no reason to be mad. August, I will slap you into next week if you talk to me that way ever again. I get it, she's your mom, but you're a grown man. Act like it. You don't have to take that disrespect. <laughs> It's, it's okay. Maybe if you were with Rosalina like I wanted, this wouldn't be happening. Mom, not in front of the kids. You could have done better than this thing. If you're going to keep acting like that, you don't need to spend Thanksgiving with us. That's enough. Don't call her a thing. Fine. 
I would like my food served to me now. I have an amazing family, and we don't need to take this. Okay, August, go you. You can get your plate of food just like everybody else. The kids do it themselves, so you can too. Mom, I don't think I like Grandma Angie anymore. You don't like me anymore? Then you don't like that $50 anymore either. Fine, take it. I love my mommy. This is the part of the night that I think we've all been waiting for. I've been so worked up. I've been working hard all day, and I am a Starving. I didn't eat breakfast for this exact reason. To save my appetite for Thanksgiving dinner. Let's eat already. It looks so good. We appreciate you, Mom. Let's dig in. And I helped with the turkey. Yes, you did. It wouldn't have been this good if you didn't help. Wait, we have to do our usual tradition. Good job, Leah. I've been waiting for this one. Does everyone want to say what they're thankful for? While you guys think... I'll start. I'm thankful that we have a roof over our heads. Everyone is in good health right now. And that Grandma Angie is leaving in the morning. Amen. What the heck did you just say? Oh, oh, nothing, nothing. I think that last one slipped out. I'm grateful that my mom is my teacher. I'm grateful for Grandma Annie's warm hugs. I'm thankful for everything in life. I'm so fortunate for the family I have. And I wouldn't trade anything for it. I'm thankful for all the memories that I've made with all of you. The good and the bad. I would be nothing without my beautiful family. I'm thankful that we've all stuck together through every journey and watched each other grow. I'm thankful for food and family. <laughs> now that y'all are done with these corny speeches, let me show you how a real woman does it. Here she go, y'all. I'm grateful for my many multi-million dollar estates, for one. There ain't no real in that woman. And scene. And I'm grateful for my maid, my cars, my bags, my shoes, and best of all, my curves. The curves that she bought? Because those are not all natural. <laughs> What did you just say? I work every single day for my curves, unlike someone I'm looking at. I'm hungry. I think we're thankful that you're finally done talking. Lord, please bless this food that we're about to receive and nourish our bodies. In Jesus' name, amen. Mmm, I'm going to tear this turkey up. I've been waiting for this one all day. Make sure you guys try some of Grandma Annie's pie. Mmm. I don't know what Angie was talking about. This pie always hits the spot. Mmm, apple pie is my favorite. I would try some of her pie. However, I want to live a long life, so I'll pass. You can live a long life, but once it's over, where you're going, it's gonna be real hot. Well, I guess it's safe to say we've never had a Thanksgiving like this one, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, please feel free to leave a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below. Once you are subscribed, click the bell button so you get notified whenever I post a video. If you celebrated Thanksgiving, we hope you had a good one. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I won't make it easy for you now You got two minutes of my time